Hey guys, it's Austin with Out Jeeping. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a bored out 62mm throttle body for your Jeep 4.0. Alright, so the throttle body I'm using today is a board 62 millimeter throttle body and it's from DW Designs on Facebook. I'll post a link in the description below on where you can find it. Another thing that you're going to need that's not included is just a throttle body gasket and you can get them at the auto parts store for like $3. Another thing you can do with DW Designs is you can send back your old core throttle body and get $50 in return, which is pretty nice. Alright, let's take off the old throttle body, take off the sensors and put it on the new throttle body and install that. Alright, so now that we're under the hood, the throttle body is going to be right on top of the intake manifold right over here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is remove this airbox assembly right here. And to do that, there's going to be a few clips all the way around. So I'm just taking a flathead screwdriver and unplugging them. I can loosen up this clamp that's right over the throttle body and then remove this vacuum hose. Then this lifts up out of the way. Now the next thing you can do is undo all your throttle cables. If you have cruise control, you're gonna have three cables. Otherwise, you're just mostly gonna have two with an automatic, or sometimes just have one if you have a manual without any cruise control. Alright, so with those throttle cables out of the way, we can go and disconnect our electrical connections. We got our TPS over here, and we got our map sensor, and then another one on the other side. So a total of three connections going to the throttle body. I'm actually going to move this vacuum line out of the way so that it's not in any contact when we remove the throttle body. Alright, so now the last thing that's holding the throttle body to the intake manifold is four 10 millimeter bolts. And we can start to take those off now. Alright, so with the old throttle body off, we can take off all the sensors and put it on the new throttle body. Alright, so now I can see the two throttle bodies side by side, and we need to swap these three sensors right here. We got our TPS, which is our throttle position sensor, we got our MAP sensor, then we got our speed control sensor. So to take them off, we have to have a Torx. I'm going to start with the throttle position sensor. It's going to be a T20. Right, so now we can pull this off. I'm going to be very careful with it, and then we can reinstall it on the new one. Make sure it gets in the right slot. It's going to rotate a little bit. It's going to have a little bit of a spring action on it. Then just feed in the screws and tighten it up. So now we can take off our map sensor and it's going to be a T25. Now take note when you're pulling this out that there's a rubber boot on the bottom and you want to make sure you don't tear that at all. Once you get that new boot back on with the sensor and the throttle body, we can put our screws back in. Lastly, our idle speed sensor, and that's going to be a T20. Now's the time to clean this off to make sure it's working properly. I don't have much with me right now, so I'm just taking some paper towel and hopefully to clean some of that carbon buildup. And now we can install it into the new throttle body. Alright, now with all the sensors on the new throttle body, we can go and install it on the intake manifold. Alright, so we can take our old gasket off. Simply going to pop off like that. Now we can take our new gasket and set it into place. Then I'm going to take the throttle body with a couple of screws, and then I'm going to set it into place and line up the gasket with it. Now we can feed the rest of the bolts into place and tighten them down. And 
and this doesn't have to be too tight, maybe around 10 foot-pounds. So now we can reinstall our electrical connections. And then along with our throttle cables. Take that vacuum line and fit it back into place. Now the last thing we got to do is install the top half of our air box. Alright, we're all done. Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something. I'll post a link in the description below on where you can get your own bored out throttle body. So, make sure to like and subscribe to the Outjeeping YouTube channel to help keep these videos coming. And as always, make sure to comment below if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer. So, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next how-to.